Hello students, for today's video, we will be learning about forms of conditional propositions. At the end of this video, you are expected to illustrate the different forms of conditional propositions. Given propositions P and Q, there are three propositions that we can derive from the conditional P implies Q, where P is our hypothesis or the antecedent and Q is our conclusion or the consequent. So, the first proposition is converse. For a given conditional statement P implies Q, we can write the converse statement by interchanging or swapping the roles of the hypothesis and conclusion of the original conditional statement. Therefore, the converse is the implication Q implies P. Notice that the hypothesis of the conditional statement becomes the conclusion of the converse. On the other hand, the conclusion of the conditional statement becomes the hypothesis of the converse. Next is the inverse. The inverse statement is created by negating both the hypothesis and conclusion of the original conditional statement. Thus, the inverse is the implication not P implies not Q. And last, the contrapositive we compose the contrapositive statement by interchanging the hypothesis and conclusion of the inverse of the same conditional statement. In other words, to find the contrapositive, we first find the inverse of the given conditional statement, then swap the roles of the hypothesis and the conclusion. Therefore, the contrapositive of the conditional statement, P implies Q, is the implication not Q implies not P. Let's try our first example. Consider the conditional statement which is represented by P implies Q. If a triangle has three congruent sides, then it is an equilateral triangle. So based from this statement, our hypothesis is a triangle has three congruent sides, which is represented by the variable P. Our conclusion is it is an equilateral triangle which is represented by Q. Now let's write the converse statement of the given conditional statement. So as we all know that when you write the converse, you have to interchange or swap the hypothesis and conclusion of the conditional statement. So in this case, the converse statement is if a triangle is equilateral, then it has three congruent sides. Observe that the hypothesis of the converse statement is the conclusion of the conditional statement and the conclusion of the converse statement is the hypothesis of the given conditional statement. Now, let's write its inverse statement of the given conditional statement. And for inverse, that is represented by not P implies not Q. So meaning you have to get the negation of your hypothesis and the negation of your conclusion. The inverse statement of this conditional statement is if a triangle does not have three congruent sides, then it is not an equilateral triangle. So we just simply negate this statement by simply putting not into that given statement. Contrapositive of the given conditional statement and it is represented by the symbol not Q implies not P. So the hypothesis here is the negation of the conclusion of the conditional statement and the conclusion here class is the negation of the hypothesis of the given conditional statement. Contrapositive is if a triangle is not equilateral then it does not have three congruent sides. So let's try our second example. Consider the conditional statement denoted by P implies Q, which is the political slogan of our former president Binigno Aquino III during his campaign, Kung walang kurap, walang mahirap. Or in English, that is, if there are no corrupt people, then there are no more poor people. So based from this conditional statement, our hypothesis is there are no corrupt people, which is denoted by P. And our conclusion is there are no more poor people, which is our conclusion, which is denoted by Q. So let's state its converse statement, and that is just simply interchanging or swapping the role of the hypothesis and conclusion. So our converse statement is 
If there are no more poor people, then there are no corrupt people. That state, its inverse statement, which is created by negating both the hypothesis and conclusion. So our inverse statement now is, if there are corrupt people, then there are more poor people. And last, let's state it's contrapositive. So for contrapositive, our hypothesis is the negation of the conclusion of our conditional statement, and our conclusion is the negation of our hypothesis for the conditional statement. So our contrapositive statement is, if there are more poor people, then there are corrupt people. So let me end this video by letting you answer this. You can pause this video and write the converse, inverse, contrapositive of the given conditional statement. If love conquers all, then we should do anything for love. Here's the converse, contrapositive, and inverse answer for the given conditional statement. Thank you for watching this video.